And here's another problem. The diagram has points A, B, C, D, and E. Four of the angles are marked. And we're told that angle 2 is bigger than angle 1. Angle 2 right here is bigger than angle 1. And we're told that angle 3 is bigger than angle 4. And we're trying to prove that AB plus DE is larger than BE. Now it certainly looks in the picture like AB plus DE together would be greater than BE. But we want to establish this logically based on the given information. We don't want to simply state that it's larger because it looks larger. We want to reason to this conclusion starting with the given information here. Okay, so what's our approach? All right, let's see here. Angle 2 is greater than angle 1. This angle is bigger than this. So that means that the side opposite angle 2, AB over here, must be bigger than the side opposite angle 1, uh, BC. Okay, so we know that AB over here is larger than that. And similar reasoning applies over here. If angle 3 is bigger than angle 4, then the side opposite angle 3, DE over here, must be bigger than the side opposite angle 4, CE. Okay, so that means this is bigger than that, and this one is bigger than that. Uh, let me change colors there, that. Okay, I've got the larger one marked, the larger sides marked in the darker colors. Okay, so AB and DE are larger. Okay, what can we conclude from that? Well, we can conclude that AB plus DE, the two big ones added together, must be larger than BC plus CE, the two small ones added together. The two larger things added together must be more than the two smaller things added together. And that is the addition theorem of inequality. We saw that earlier in the chapter. Two bigger things added together are always necessarily bigger than two smaller things added together. And then there's one other thing we can conclude here. I can conclude that these two sides here, BC and CE, must be larger than BE because of the triangle inequality theorem. It says that any two sides of a triangle must be larger, must add up to, to more length than the third. So, and then the last step will be a substitution. Okay, so let's write this out in two columns. Okay, step one, I'll just start with the given information. Watch this, angle two is greater than angle one I know that's true because that's given. And remember we said this, if angle 2 is bigger than angle 1, it immediately follows that the side opposite angle 2, that's AB, I'll say side AB, must be larger than the side opposite angle 1, BC. AB is larger than BC. And the reason I stated this right after this is because this immediately follows from that. So it just makes sense to go ahead and state that there. And the reason that's true is because the larger angle is opposite the larger side. Okay, then let's apply the same reasoning over on the right side. I know that angle 3 is greater than angle 4, so let's put that for our next step. Angle 3 is greater than angle 4, and that means that the side opposite angle 3 over here, DE, I'll write DE, must be larger than the side opposite angle 4, which is CE. So DE is larger than CE. Okay, this this piece, angle 3 greater than angle 4, I knew that was true because that is given. And then this is true for this reason once again. The larger angle is opposite the larger side. 
Okay, now step five. We said that these, these two things, the two bigger things, look at this, AB is bigger than BC, and DE is bigger than CE. So the two bigger things added up must be more than the two smaller things added up. So let's write that. Let's write AB plus DE is greater than BC plus CE. And that was the addition theorem of inequality. I'm just going to write addition theorem over there for my reason. The addition theorem of inequality. Okay, now step six. I said this. I said that these two sides must be bigger than this. Looking at this bottom triangle down here, triangle BCE, remember any two sides of a triangle must add up to be more than the third. So BC plus CE must be more than BE. So let's write that. BC plus CE is greater than BE. And the reason there, I'm running out of room, but I'll squeeze this in. The reason there is the triangle inequality theorem. And I'll abbreviate that just to make it fit. The triangle inequality theorem. Any two sides of a triangle must add up to be more than the third. And now it's just one more step of logic and I'm done. Uh, look at this. This is greater than BC plus CE and BC plus CE is greater than BE. Think of it like this. Thing one is greater than thing two and here we have thing two is greater than thing three. See this BC plus CE shows up twice right there. If thing one is bigger than thing two and thing two is bigger than thing three, then thing one must be bigger than thing three. So let's write that. AB plus DE must be larger than BE. Look there, that's what we were trying to prove. And that's the transitive property. You could say the transitive property of inequality, but just writing transitive property is sufficient. And we're done.